It, it wasn't too long after I made life in prison, means life in prison statement, that I started to realize uh, I was wrong. The Glendening administration will optimistically focus on our great future and our positive future while realistically solving current problems. I was uh, governor from 1995 to 2003. Crime had become a major issue in American politics. There are clues, but still no suspects in the brutal murder this morning of a Baltimore furniture store executive. Whether it's a big city, whether it's a suburban area, a rural area, crime is a number one issue in America. Let us roll up our sleeves to roll back this awful tide of violence and reduce crime in our country. And when I got in, though, I wanted to work on those things that I considered most important for the future of the state, uh, things like education, uh, like uh, a shared prosperity in the economy, uh, things like the environment. But uh, what happened was uh, that uh, the homicide rate, the violence rate uh, continued. You know, I had to make some type of dramatic uh, statement that would indi indicate clearly uh, that I was going to do all I could uh, to protect uh, Marylanders from crime. The general perception, and I think candidly my perception, was that the person sentenced to life in prison almost certainly had committed some very horrendous crime uh, and was a, um, considered a danger to the community to go back uh, into that community. Now, again, I realized that uh, that's far too simplistic, and uh, that's not the way the system works. Some people representing some different organizations came to me, and they described to me what I had done. There were people out in the community who had been reunited with their families, who were working steady jobs, who were rehabilitating themselves to become good citizens, and all of a sudden they got pulled back into prison because they were no longer eligible. One of the leaders was a gentleman named uh, Walter Lomax. 67-year-old Walter Lomax spent more than two-thirds of his life in prison for a crime he did not commit. I was one of the people uh, when former Governor Glenn Dennis stood down in Jessup's and announced the life means life, I was one of the people that he denied parole. So I spent 13 more years in prison that I obviously shouldn't have because I'd already been recommended for parole. For a variety of reasons, uh, Maryland has one of the highest ratios of African Americans uh, in the long-term prison in the uh, life uh, sentence, uh, state prisons of any state. And so when you were talking about a system that didn't work, you're talking about a system that didn't work disproportionately on minorities and specifically uh, African Americans. I was in a program called the Work Release and Family Leave Program. That's a part of the parole expectancy that's built into Merlin's uh, prison system. And so I began to receive recommendations for parole, and I felt that eventually I would be let out. Well, the state Senate took up a majority of the bills vetoed by the governor in May, and one of the more heated discussions on the Senate floor involved Senate Bill 202, which takes the governor out of the parole decision for people sentenced to life in prison. With 31 votes in the affirmative, the bill shall pass. Now that the law has changed, right, politics won't be a part of the process. And so we are hoping uh, that with politics being removed from an individual to be released, right, that what it would uh, 
bring about is a more meaningful opportunity for those people that are serving those sentences to be released. Elected officials do make mistakes. And uh, in many cases, they change their positions because they have learned. They have learned what they said and did in the past was wrong. Uh, and in this case, my very dramatic uh, difference, not just saying I shouldn't have been involved, but I made the wrong decision, was because I learned and people helped me learn. For me, it is somewhat surreal. Uh, I personally don't know of anyone that has fought that long, fought this hard, you know, to get something done. 